For the past few years, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant, and Carl Pilkington have been meeting regularly for a series of pointless conversations. This is one of them. Testing. Is that all right? Hello and welcome to the Ricky Gervais Show with me, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant. Hello. And the little round-headed buffoon that is Carl Pilkington. All right. So, Red Nose Day, Comic Relief has come round again. Yeah, um, Red Nose Day is obviously the very specific day in the calendar for the whole generic term Comic Relief, I think. It's normally when the uh, telecast happens, yeah. um, people know that that's the day when they can uh, dress up, do charitable acts. But of course, Comic Relief is a charity that's working all the time for uh, disenfranchised all over the world. Are you, have you always been a, a strong champion of Comic Relief, Carl? Not really. <laughs> um, Why was I expecting that answer? But I do loads of stuff without going on about it. My gift to the world has been you, Carl, to be quite honest. I feel that... You're the world. I'm now. sure there's people in Africa going, we, we'd prefer blankets. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a, a Wills charity, isn't it? Is it? Sort of. I mean, no, if, you, if, you make, have, if you make a donation to a charity within the will, I suppose that's quite charitable. But Do just you giving money to your relatives isn't, is it? Of course it is. <laughs> well, they it shouldn't is, have it. They're they getting should... something for nothing, but it's. I, mean, I don't know. It's giving something away that you have no use for. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, but, but forget that. It's someone is getting something yeah. when they've done nothing for it, really. Well, it is. It, I suppose it is charity, but charity is usually infused with some sort of altruism. It's it. It's like it's not charity on your part because you're literally not around anymore. So it's no longer you giving it. It's just some yeah, but money I could, that I could either was. give it them or not give it them. Once I'm dead and I've turned to mush, I shouldn't be worrying about. <laughs> Suzanne's mum getting a table. <laughs> but, is that, is that you what you're know, leaving her? Well, I've, I've called up my dad first. Why are you said, doing a will for the because show? Because of this travel thing right, I'm yeah. doing, and it can get dangerous, you know. But I've, why have you done a will up to now? Because you sort of, uh, I don't know, I felt sort of young and free. <laughs> Whereas now I'm... <laughs> never, that's never two words I've associated with Carl. <laughs> no. He's always seemed like a man who's in his late 50s. Yeah, and exactly, yeah. never the idea that you're free. It's it, more... Even if we're just talking about the head alone, it's, <laughs> it's, the, it's the head of a late 50s. Free of hair? Yeah, <laughs> totally free of fucking hair. I'm sort of getting on first name terms with my doctor. Oh, mm. really? Chatting more. Oh, what is it this time? How's your yeah. middle finger? You Not know. too bad, Carl. All, all that sort of thing. So it's just made me think. Have you had that done for the will, by the way, for insurance? I and think stuff? you need to do it for a will. I think you do. There's nothing the on the paper. Exam. No. no uh, listen, for insurance purposes, I think you need to have um, a testicular exam for testicular cancer. You're just leaving the high risk for testicular cancer, actually, and you're you're entering the high risk. For prostate and cancer. And you can have both at the same time. You could have both the at, the same time, at the same time. If he's a very dexterous doctor. Um, I wouldn't want that. Why? Too much like. It's just too, too much playful. going on. It's like someone juggling you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like being examined by Squidly Diddly. And so you said you called up your dad? Called him up. I said, Is there anything you want if, <laughs> if, I, if I die? Right. And presumably, you know, Suzanne, she's getting the, she's getting the lion's share. She is. But then the fellow who was on the end of the phone talking us through it all was going, oh, you should get married. I was going, oh, shut up. He's saying, well, it makes it things a lot easier when it comes to this. And it's like, well, that isn't a reason to get married, is it? <laughs> well. So she can have all my stuff. I said, I've wrote on the bit of paper that she mm. can have it. But it's something about um, tax. If you're not married, you have to hand over more. I think you get so much and then it's like ridiculous tax rate. Yep. But she's going, you should, that's why we should get married, I'm going to be paying tax. I'm going, hang on a minute, she's already, like, thinking about money loss <laughs> instead of me b disappearing. Yeah. She's going, yeah, we should. And I'm saying, look, you'll be getting a load of money. I said, if I die on this programme anyway, mm. I'm insured, you'll yeah. be getting about a million pounds for that. Yeah. I said, so that's, that's something you haven't got now. Yeah. Got nowhere near that now. <laughs> I said, so even if you have to pay tax on that, yeah. I, I don't think it'd be right to get married just in case I get killed. Have you also two sets of parents met? No. That'd be good, would it? Well, I suppose it's a reason to, isn't it? At least if you're getting married, there's a reason for them to meet. At the moment, there's no reason for them to meet. No. They'd get on each other's nerves. My dad wouldn't get on with a man. Why? <laughs> Just wouldn't. She doesn't like me, so she won't like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Because he's just an exaggerated version. <laughs> so, I think, 
It doesn't need to happen. But you could just nip down the registry office, get it done, done and dusted, and you just phone up your folks and say, it's already happened. It's I said late. that. I said, listen, if we had to do it, I said if, if it was like we've got to do it for some reason, mm. I said I'd do that. You, we can have it done by two, you can be back in work for three. <laughs> because at the end of the day, there's no other, there's no, you know, we've known each other for years. Yeah. We're not going to suddenly turn into some sort of Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan film yeah. just because we got married. Yeah. It's going to be the same, exactly yeah. the same. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Jane were out with them and Suzanne the other night, right, at uh, uh, dinner, and honestly, he is so, so grumpy. He was saying about uh, uh, for Christmas, right? He said, you've had a flaw. <laughs> you've had a flaw. <laughs> now, what did that mean? We had a new floor put in. But how is that her floor? Because she wanted it. But you walk on it too. I paid for it. I don't understand what but you mean. But don't you understand that, like, <laughs> a, 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 you know, a romantic break or a, or <laughs> clothes or perfumes, you know, sort of things that are kind of indulgent for a lady, that's, that's a gift, not yeah. a new floor. That is like something that you give to some little African fella on Comic Relief. In fact, I think I saw it once. He didn't yeah. have a floor. <laughs> exactly. They built him a floor. I, I remember watching it with you, and they gave him a new pair of shoes and the floor. He went, hold on, floor or shoes, <laughs> not both. <laughs> so you think charity is all right as long as people don't get above their station with charity? I think it should be there as a little, little booster. Right. They've always got their hand out. Right. And it's been like that since I was a kid. Yeah. I remember being a kid, people mm. knocking on the door, my mum going, don't look at the door, there's someone there. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd just pretend they were there. Charity starts at home, not at your home. <laughs> no, but because it's all the time. I mean, my mum didn't like answering the door anyway, even if it was the pools man, she'd sort of say, don't move, and he might not see that we're here. So you just froze where a man was at the door? Well, you just, because the front room was near the door, so people right. could see in. Right. So you just sort of stayed there and pretend that either well, you can't so like hear some sort of predator, like... They can't see if you don't move. Well, even if he was peering in through the window and he could see you in there not moving. So he looked through and there was three people just frozen, <laughs> right, right, like statues, right, just their eyes looking at him yeah. and well, him confused. Well, not... they're clearly dead on Move On. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's obviously the been a gas leak. <laughs> <laughs> and did you did you say sitting or stand up or no. did you sort of like throw yourself? No, to we, the just, floor? we just sat. We just sat on on the you know where you were and you just stayed still. But did he ever look in and see? I you don't know because you didn't turn around, did you? <laughs> so you would pretend you couldn't hear the door. But it seemed to be the eighties. Had a lot of it because it was yeah. all the Avon thing, wasn't it? It was perfume, yeah. Yeah. Tupperware. What? Tupperware. Tupperware. Yeah, the plastic boxes. <laughs> Tupperware. Tupperware. It's, tupper it's dishes for fat people. <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh, these are big. God, they are. They're for fat fuckers like you to eat out of. Just a lot of charity stuff. Just a lot. It seemed to be the time, the 80s, that they suddenly found out they can sort of scav money off people. OK, right, let's do the scenario. I'm, I'm at the door. Uh, I, can, I can see you in there. You might as well come open the door. Carl? Carl? Why are you staying so still? Are you, are you trying to avoid me? <laughs> it's working. Carl, your eyes are moving. <laughs> Can you come to the door, please? <laughs> I suppose in the end you've got to move Carl, on. Carl, um, no, I'm going to stay here. <laughs> I'm just going to stay here until <laughs> you have to move. <laughs> Carl! <laughs> <laughs> OK, and I'll move on then. Right. It works. <laughs> yeah, it works okay. perfectly. Because Brilliant. once they've got you, that's the whole thing with charity, once they've stopped you in the street, if you've stopped, that's it. Keeps on going. I mean, the good thing now is you've got an iPod, so you can just either pretend you're on the phone mm. or listen to music. Or just stay very still. <laughs> just freeze when someone says, can I trouble you for... <laughs> oh, he's totally frozen. That would be amazing, because they're normally in one spot, aren't they? Yeah. So it's just so they're carrying on selling, stop you, and, so and you've got to stay there for the rest of it, outside waitress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for seven yeah. hours. Yeah. yeah, it goes dark. <laughs> well, I'm... I've finished my shift, I'm off. And then you just see... You, your eyes just see them walk away like that, and they all meet in their little tunics. And then you start walk. they look back, and you freeze. <laughs> and then they walk on, and then you can go home. Seven hours late. 
ever since I was young, I've always liked going in charity shops, particularly because, you know, you can you find sort of interesting old records in there. Never sort of gone in there to buy clothes and stuff, but, you know, books, whatever. And, uh, I was in a charity shop, you know, and I've patron patronised them for years, and I noticed that through the window, there was like a paparazzi guy, and he was taking pictures of me through the window. That was a bit weird. And obviously the old ladies in there didn't have any idea who I was, so they just thought that was a bit strange. And then it was in one of the, uh, the magazines, like the kind of celebrity magazines. Was, oh, here's Steve Merchant. You know, he, despite all the money he must have made from his various projects, he's still going in charity shops. And you just think, but sorry, how is that a bad thing? Like, I'm yeah, sure. I give a lot of stuff to charity. A lot. Most of the time, just because it's, it's nearer than the wheelie bin is. It's just a way of getting rid of garbage most sure. of the time with me. Stick it all in a bin bag, good stuff on the top, the stuff that you're embarrassed about, yeah. stick it in the bottom of the bag. What are you embarrassed in, about? Just old shoes, trainers. Some of the books you've written. Uh, socks, socks, underpants. Underpants. You do not give underpants to charity. Washed. But who's gonna <laughs> wash? I know, as opposed to just like peeling them off. <laughs> yeah. Well, you didn't, to, I don't know why you've got a problem with underpants, but shoes. You see, I've never buy shoes. underpants from a charity yeah. shop. Though. I mean, I don't care how low you are on the socio-economic level. I know. You can get about fourteen pairs for a quid in some places. I know. I don't know who's buying underpants. I don't know who's <laughs> buying your underpants. I definitely don't. Know. I mean, if they were signed, yeah, that, that is something. That is something I like doing though. When I've given to charity, mm. I like going past the shop and seeing if it made it in the window. Mm. Any success? Yeah, re recently, the one not far from here had me um, egg cups in the window. So it's like, oh, look, there's... What, there's you've that. got a new set of egg cups, so you've got rid of your old ones? Yeah. Um, I don't think we've got any egg cups. Haven't you? Well, there's nothing wrong. Honestly, it's hardly... Be I mean, it's made the window space. That's how good it was. It had hardly been used, that egg cup. Because mm. it was a doubler. And I think they were quite small for the egg size that I get. I think they were made more for the small egg. And I have the large egg. Right. So it was, it was never really Just used. Just like your underpants. <laughs> but, um, a bit of a dilemma that, um, my auntie Nora had. She likes charity shops as well. Mm. Uh, she's got a neighbour. Went out to Graceland's big Elvis fan. Came back. She said, how was, how was Graceland's? She said, oh, it was brilliant. We've got a gift for you, right? They get out this clock. Like a, like a little sort of, it's like a Swiss, you know, the Swiss sort of, um, looks cuckoo like a little clock. house, like yeah. a cuckoo clock. Mm. But on the hour, little Elvis comes out the top and goes, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So she went, oh, cheers. She's not really into Elvis, she's more into Jim Reeves and yeah, uh, yeah. Glenn Campbell and stuff. Yeah. But what can you say? She said, oh, thanks, mm. thanks mm. for that. She took it in the house. Maybe they could uh, get attachments. Maybe you get a little uh, Jim Reeves to pop on the spring, <laughs> and, it, it, and it, that pops out, or whatever. You so know. anyway, it's in the house. She's thinking, I'm not going to put that up. It's not her sort of thing. So, uh, thinks, give it to charity. Of course. She goes down to the charity shop, gives them that, thinks nothing of it, goes off to the pub for an afternoon drink. Mm. Anyway, next day she's going out for an afternoon drink again, passes the charity shop, it's in the wind. Oof. And the chances are her friends are going to pass by. That was a dilemma. Of course. She had to buy it back. <laughs> That's brilliant. At a hugely inflated price. Comet Relief here is a sort of, um, it, it happens every year of the year. And, you know, people often do things um, in their workplace or at school. They can dress up, they can raise money in different fun ways. And we were told in a school assembly, it was Comet Relief next Friday, right. everyone has to come along dressed up in fancy dress to school on that day. Has to? Yeah, they said they have to, have to dress up. Right? That's annoying, isn't it? So, I, of course, I'm looking forward to this, because, you know, I'm a sort of aspiring comedian and that. Get to dress up like a clown, right? Spent wow. quite a lot of time getting the old clown outfit together. What did that look like? The what shoes, obviously, I just wore my regular <laughs> shoes. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But I had the red nose, a wig, wow. you know, the whole deal. Bow, big bow tie that my mum made for me, like, you know. I thought this would be the best day ever, right? Get to school, I want you to picture this scene, right, during the assembly in my class of 30. School uniform, 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 lanky kid dressed as a clown. School uniform, school uniform, school uniform, school uniform. So obviously no one showed up. Dressed what, like an utter dick, except what, me and what, about two other dogs. What disappoints me is that for a man who was um, a self-confessed uh, uh, aspiring comedian, you chose the least funny thing in the world to dress as. Yeah. It, clowns are anti-comedy. They suck comedy out of the room. It's no... You're right, and this is from a man who wanted to dress as Hitler at the Golden Globes. <laughs> No, that's funny. He knows funny costumes when he <laughs> 
But you were saying about the guys who bother you in the street. Did I tell you that when I pretended to be foreign to try and get out of that? Did I tell you that story? Amazing. I've periodically used this method throughout my life. And not so long ago, a guy stopped me with one of those charity tunics. And I sprang into me old trick. I was like, sorry, I don't... Um, uh, a, um, a, 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 an elderly Russian woman. <laughs> I don't know what voice that is. I don't yeah, know what accent it went, it went from vaguely French yeah. to sort of Eastern European beggar. Yeah, I, I don't know what it was. And the guy, I was like, I don't. Uh, he was, well, let's just let me explain to you about. It. I, sorry, I'm not from. Um, and the guy, this world. Yeah, I am from <laughs> Planet <laughs> Snark. And the guy said, uh, "Are you Stephen Merchant?" No. Swear sorry. To God. Not when you were famous. Oh, yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah, because I hadn't... It hadn't occurred to me. I just... It was like a lapse no! of concentration. God! It Almighty. was a lapse of concentration because, um... And did your bow tie spin now? <laughs> and you square them all and ran away? <laughs> That's what I did. Damn. <laughs> because, I, you know, it's one of those things where... You know, you don't always remember that you've been on the... T it's not like I That's instantly remembered that. Amazing. So, but look, so he says, are you Steve Merchant? And I... And then you're in this position where you've got to go... Either you've got to admit what you did... Or you've got to carry on the lie. <laughs> and I chose the second one. <laughs> so I was kind of like, I don't, I don't know who that is. What? I don't know what you're... And he was like, oh, God. really? You look a lot like him. I was going, I've never heard. I don't. <laughs> In fact, you are Stephen Merchant. Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always getting stopped for... for I mean, there's so many charities now. It's not just starving people anymore, it's everything. Yeah. One little fault, they're out there with a clipboard. Yeah, a lot, of new, bank a lot of new diseases have Definitely. cropped up. But that shouldn't be allowed. I think they should have, like, one year where they go, this year, uh, you know, hungry people. Right. Next year, people with a limp. <laughs> or... Just like they do in, with the China thing, with the year of the cat, year of the rabbit. It's very clear. Yeah. It's that year. That's who we're helping this year. Right. If you've got that problem, it's your year. You're going to have a good one. And who decides? Right. Uh, just have some meeting. Just have a meeting. With, uh, the, what would be the, the first year? What would be the first year this year? Right, well, we'd, we'd look at it and we'd go, right, what, what are we hearing a lot of problems about? And someone goes, so-and-so's hungry. Go, right, are we all in? Are we in to give this lot food? And we're not just going to give so them food. So it's not everyone who's hungry, it's specific people so it's like hungry starving people who are starving if someone goes oh my kid's deaf well maybe next year maybe next year it's not your turn this time we can't help everyone at once because right. that's life isn't it you've got to give and take in your own life there's things right. that i want i can't have I do without have something else but there's more so important. many causes that right but that's it could what I'm wait saying, 20 years before okay. your charity i know comes but what can you do then because we're not sorting it all out anyway i'm paraplegic right Oh, I need help really bad. So does everyone else. Well, why are you giving it to the hungry now? Because if we don't oh. help the hungry now, right, they they can't wait. You can wait. Right. Oh, oh God, I'm blind. Is this a different person? Though? Yeah, I'm blind. Right. Well, you're not hungry though, are you? Well, a bit peckish. Yeah. Well, where's the fridge? I can't find the fridge. Can you help me to the fridge? Yeah. Otherwise, I'll be hungry as well. I'm blind and hungry. I'm blind and hungry because I don't know where the fridge is. Who's like you in? <laughs> <laughs> but Carl, this this is just it's just a chaotic order. idea. It's, it's a chaotic not. because people who are hungry, there's there's always going to be people who are hungry. Yeah, but I sort the problem out. How do you sort it out? Because I'll go right. Not only are we just giving you food, right? We're giving you some seeds. We're giving you a pan. What we're you think you... they haven't Let thought of? Let me hear that. the theory, please. Right. Sort it out. Don't just give food. That's going to run out. Right. Give them a proper... You see, the problem is, these companies who jump on the back of all... Do you know when I was in the okay. jungle? Right. When I was in the jungle, yeah. right? On that travel thing. Yeah. I was in that tribe, right? Now, some company had given that tribe a laptop mm. because it makes them look good. They can send out a press release. Mm. Well done to so-and-so computers. Right. They supplied the tribe in, you know, out of Amazon with a computer. I saw it, they were using it as a breadboard. <laughs> because they don't know what it is. They've got no electric, it's useless to them. Right. And that's what charity does. Right. Companies use it to make them look good. When I was there and I really needed to go to the toilet, I was thinking, ah, oh, tribe, I wonder what their toilet facilities are like, right? Thinking they might, it might be better than just doing it in a hole. Surely they've built a toilet. They're not stupid people, they kill animals, they know what they're doing, they know how to cook. Surely they've built some sort of unit. Turns out, 
they don't they're still do it in a hole. <laughs> but some company had been there, some plumbing firm, and given them a toilet, mm. right? The bloke who was, you know, the producer who was out there, he said, oh, you'll be happy. There's a toilet round the back there. I'm thinking, oh, brilliant. I go round there, it is a toilet, but it's not plumbed in. Sure. So it's just a vase with shit in it. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't work, and this is what we need to do. We need to get out there and say, this is how it works. Educate right. them. OK, so let's do this then. Um, so I'm a starving African. Hello, Carl. C have you got any food? Got any, got any food? Got any sandwiches? I'm well, starving. I have, but right. if I give you my sandwich, right. there's yeah. someone else behind you, right, and they'll okay. all come out. So what are you going to do then? What are you going to do? I'm going to help you. How? What are you going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you think about how to make food. Oh, OK, right. Uh, have you ever then? grown anything before? No, no. Right, well, no. here's some seeds for oh, potatoes. Brilliant. Oh, thanks, Carl. See you later. Do I just put them in the ground, yeah? Put them in the ground and water oh. them. Oh, there's no water, you dopey cunt. There is some No, water. there's no water, you dopey cunt. That's why we're starving, you dopey cunt. Right, well, at that, that point, that's where I go, well, this is a lost cause, eh? Right. Because there's no point. Can I have your so sandwich then, after all, No, or you're what? not having it. You're right. not having it so now. so not only can I have a sandwich, you give me seeds with no water, you useless, bald-headed fucking twonk. Right, but... All I've done there is made the mistake of the computer firm who's given a laptop to a tribe. Right. It's useless. Right. But there's got to be another way around this. Go on, then. Either move... Right. ...because every year they're going to be queuing up saying, I'm hungry, give me a sandwich. <laughs> no, you're not having another sandwich. Once again, it's an <laughs> utterly ill-informed discussion. <laughs> I'm just saying there's no <gasps> point... Queuing up oh. every year. Oh. Do you want a sandwich? Here's oh. a sandwich. Oh. The next year, can oh. I have a sandwich? Where's your brother? He died. <laughs> <laughs> it's not oh, sorting anything. It's buying him an extra day, an extra month or something. But it's Carl, pointless. The point is, like Ricky's just flagged up, is that some of these countries... <laughs> the, <laughs> the he conditions died. He died! The conditions are not there to just be able to plant <laughs> potato seeds. <laughs> So what are they meant to do then? Do you think we should go out every every month, every year with sandwiches? Is that your answer, like some sort of buffet, an all you can eat thing once a year? <laughs> oh, oh God! Oh. You see, it is bad. I, you know, I don't oh. want to come across harsh. We, mm. th they've got nothing. We oh. waste stuff here. Waste annoys me just as much. Right. When I see sandwich shops chucking stuff out yeah. and bin bags binning it, yeah. when there's people out there who are hungry, it's mm. ridiculous. Yeah. But I don't, I don't understand. Right. It's a problem that isn't being so solved. Your, so your conclusion for these people, because there's no water where they are, right, is move. That that is your honest. They should well, move. Well, well, what's your solution? Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs. I don't, I don't even uh, pretend to know. Um, but, but I tell you, it's not just, just it's sticking a. What's that saying? I don't know, it's sort of sticking a plaster over a hole or something, and the yeah. plaster comes off, it's a problem again. <laughs> yeah, that's, just, that's the same, yeah. It's the same. I think that was Mark Twain. <laughs> <laughs>